Alright, good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is African Crypto Warlord. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we're just going to be reviewing some cone levels and our general market trends. Seeing as we've gone quite high up into this region here, we need to start looking for levels as we haven't broken out of it since yesterday's stream. Okay, so the general idea being is, this is the 24 hour cone level. And what you're looking to do here is you're wanting to close below this for trend continuation down to the mean here at 37. At 37. Um, and then if you want to look for continuation to the upside, you have to hold 56 cents with a bull dev or something like that and an expansion of volatility to follow it through up into this region here at 62 cents so our current range is 5019 <coughs> and then 5580 which is rather big to be honest but the further out we get from our source the more accurate well the yeah the more accurate it is because there's bigger there's there's bigger percentage moves in between these things so you can see that it's coming up to hit that line um so from here we're going to move to the six hour and the six hour is telling us the same thing. We've stuck in a similar range and we marked these ranges off yesterday. Okay, so those levels here, that's where we're stuck, right? We can throw on a reverse wave trend. As you can see, we've come in and we've touched the top of the reverse wave trend. So now the general idea with the reverse wave trend on the lower term time frames is that it comes in and you scalp it and it comes back down and it comes back in and you scalp it. So the idea that it is trying to close above the reverse wave trend here um, well it's not trying to it's holding the reverse wave trend so the next candle may want to push to close above the reverse wave trend and when that prints could be 5189 and from there we'll look into like these indicators so we have some expansion to the downside so that's saying no coming off of bear drive in uh, bear, bear dev coming in through the book a little bit of mean reversion returns are increasing to the downside on the lower term time frames it's been coming in and smoking the reverse wave trend mean that's why it's been quite hard to get some shorts in because it's not breaking through these means on the one minute up i eventually gave up shorting it um if i was awake this morning it would have been a nice beautiful short but i don't sleep on a short um or a long it depending on the strategy okay so that's the six hour then we're going to throw to the 15 minute all right and the 15 minute is telling us we have a daily mean at 5292, okay? So that was our previous target for, for yesterday. We're back to where we are from the previous stream. Um, and all we are is pretty much the same level, okay? And the general idea being is same rule applies. You start closing above this mean. There's a little orange mean in here, if you can see it here. You close above that mean, you look to maybe come and touch your well you close above that mean you want to look for a scalp at 5 to 90. you start closing below this mean mm, it may want to like do a little bit of a fake out in this move through the mean to here but if you fail in between these two regions to come and touch a daily mean you're coming down to hit your new weekly mean that's been printed so you can tag this on monday and not forget about it but it's been tagged and then it has seven days of not really needing to be tagged if you're looking for continuation to the upside okay and then from here we have the one minute and the one minute's pretty cool the one minute was earlier this morning about nine hours ago okay and the general idea is we're looking for mean reversion we get through these levels we're looking for mean reversion at 53 cents so yesterday's thumbnail that's your pretty much your mean. Um, yeah, let's just do the quick shuffle down now with regards to time frames. So what's that? I had this one on a 21 day. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say volatility up or down. So currently on the 21 day we have, what's that? That is negative, that's sideways, and that's also sideways. So 14 day so 21 days sideways we need to look for what backs it what flips that right now it's random you could say but it means sideways to me so we have some 14 day contraction uh, in volatility contraction go down 
whilst these guys are on the negative side of things, minus 1 and minus 1. So that tells me 14 day has positive drift. Then we go to XRP, USDT, Binance. And then from here, I will be saying if we're going to hit the weekly mean or if we're going to go and try to push through our one minute cone and maybe go hit our daily mean print. Okay, so the 14 day on Binance says the same thing. Seven day, we're going to look at seven day. Positive drift on the seven day. So 14 day, seven day, five day, three day. Three days looking for a little bit of expansion. These are sloppy chips down here. So three days, 75% positive drift. That's expansion. That's down. That's 50-50 under positive drift. More so weighted. Um, what have we got here? We have some expansion to the downside initially. But it's not picking up with the trend. So this might not go down as far. But that's still a target of 40, just call it 48 cents if it does look for playthrough and then we have contraction positive correlated that's expanding to the downside so that one says 12 hours says down that says down so 12 hours saying down and you want prints in 33 minutes maybe i look for a short in this region um expansion to the downside looking for continuation through on the six hour so the reverse wave trend doesn't seem to be good as of a friend contraction over here it's telling me we have 75 percent positive negative drift um and only 25 percent positive drift so it's pretty much weighted to the downside we have ex contraction positive expansion positive expansion and contraction so 90 minute is sideways so that's expected considering we are at the mean okay so as i've been s as i said earlier what we have here is like little plays. I was monitoring from the one minute up to like the 15 minute. And we're coming in and we're bouncing off of, I suppose, each higher time frame to to cause this bull div. So let's see if the 90 minute here is going to move into anything interesting. So 45 minute hasn't confirmed this bounce to be so strong as of yet. Contraction. This side is generally the contraction side, so it does want to run up to its mean, maybe at 5237. And then we're going to look into the 30 minute. See, the 30 minute has some expansion, contraction. So there's a little bit of a flick here at the reverse wave trend. Contraction. So as it's pumping itself, it's currently pumping itself into a dump, which we can see here. We have some expansion now trying to break through on the 15 minute reverse wave trend. So we have a minute left if you guys are keen to sit this one out. And we'll see for continuation. We have a JMA's up. So again, 5, 2, 4, 3. But I'm, I'm looking for this move. If it does move here, it needs to talk to the 90 minute. Because the 90 minute has been some pretty good waiting. So that's your initial positive drift that's coming in through the book here. Okay, so here's your 5 minute. Here's the mean of a 90 minute reverse wave trend that we've come and we've tagged. And we're looking obviously to maybe hit again 5225. Okay, we'll be looking for a short in that region. And then we'll put it on the one minute cone. That's the 15 minute cone. So we're coming up into a VRE level. Uh, let me just switch off the VRE level. And I'll start plotting out some uh, time frames, uh, some, some ranges. Okay, so your general idea being is we we would there is more positive drift in the skew right now so to look for five two three four five two sixty for a short for sure if you to take this long um obviously you'd want to know when it broke out above here and then you look for continuation and this is the mean reversion play so you sort of want indicators like oscillators looking for looking quite strong yeah it's looking quite strong so the next print could get it through if it if these stay up and that goes red, it will be through here into like the reverse wave trend or something like that. Yeah, so then we'll have a mean. So five, two, three, five can be your first point of failure here. If we're looking for continuation to the downside, even this little orange line right here, which is your mean, so middle set of the whole one minute's data. So we're looking to mean revert through that currently. And then I have a one minute cone here. One minute cone mean reversion is back to uh, yesterday's thumbnail, right? So 
with the given data with the current 15 minutes if we close above uh, that little level we saw here if we close above here we will look for daily VRE level which is somewhere up here which matches up with 5300 and we have a cross of two wave trends so to see if this trend is going to carry on to the downside um, you'll expect a failure in this region given we haven't come in and touched our weekly mean I still expect that to be a target over the next seven days. So I hope that is helpful. Currently, your downside, if you wanted to take the short, your downside is now currently 2.53%, and to the upside looks about 1.2%. Okay, so just call it 2%. I'm looking at the cross over here at 2.24% to the upside. Um, that's where I'll be looking for a healthy rejection by the bears. All right. So a uh, dumper roo, considering this took a long time for the fuck the roo, switch a roo. And there's a lot of positive drift because of the five day. Five day hasn't switched off its positive drift, I do not think. And as soon as the five day positive drift switches off is when I will go a little bit more. When I hold my short trades longer have more conviction to hold them longer currently i'm getting a little bit chopped out and also i don't have from one o'clock in the morning to five o'clock to catch the daily mean at the current moment so hopefully i can carry on with that on wednesday much love thank you so much i hope this information is helpful ciao bella